Football is a contact sport. It is arguably the most physical, hard-hitting sport in the world. The idea of the game should remain the same. Defeat your opponent while wearing him out. Playing more physically than the other guy will make him hurt and make him tired, but it can be done in a somewhat safe manner that minimizes injuries. The NFL has taken steps to preserve the health of players, but college football has yet to follow suit. 2010 saw a great deal of questionable hits by many different teams and players, but most involving improper use of the helmet. If you had one shot, one opportunity, seize everything you ever wanted. On October 29th of this year, Razorback freshman Mark Will Wade was ejected in the third quarter of the game against the Commodores and drew a one-game suspension from the Southeastern Conference for a crushing hit on a Vanderbilt punt returner, Jonathan Krause, as he was looking up before he had possession of the ball. Kraus was on the ground for several minutes, but returned to the game and even fielded another punt. Here comes the, here comes the, here comes the, y'all don't really want it like that. Yeah. Here comes the, no, here comes the, oh, here comes the, y'all don't really want it like that. Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker James Harrison has been fined over $100,000 throughout the 2010 season. I'm not playing dirty, he said. I'm not doing anything that's outside the lines. There's nothing malicious or illegal about the way I'm playing or I'm tackling guys, so I'm going to continue to play the way I'm playing. Linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens, Ray Lewis, says, I will never slow down my speed. The way I play is the game. I've never played this game to hurt anybody, but the bottom line is when I turn to go, I'm like a missile. When I'm locked in, I'm locked in. Whatever's there is there. I hit my players too. Worrying about fines and all that, I'll let that take care of itself. The NFL does a good job at that. Senator Roger Goodell and the NFL have announced this new policy of suspending players for illegal hits. Suspensions will replace the current practice of fining players. The regulation change comes after a slew of player concussions. An NFL official said that the league plans to enforce their rules against flagrant hits especially helmet-to-helmet hits. NFL Executive Vice President of Football Operations Ray Anderson said that the rule change will help protect the safety of the players. Ultimately, the NFL officials want you to know the rules and play by them. So in a meeting of all 32 teams, the coaches presented their players with a four-minute video produced by the league and narrated by the NFL Executive Vice President of Football Operations Ray Anderson, who is in charge of discipline. The video showed nine big hits. Six were plays that involved in helmet-to-helmet contact or defenders launching themselves at defenseless receivers, the kind of plays that result in discipline from the league office. The rules defining a defenseless player that will be expanded and now will include eight different categories. A defensive tackle from the Rutgers University was injured on October 16th of 2010 after leading with his helmet during a kickoff return. While his 275-pound body was running full force, Legrand was paralyzed from the neck down. He is making progress and sensation is starting to return to his body, but he still has a long journey left. The issues of the NFL labor negotiations was the expansion of the season from 16 to 18 games. Of course, the owners wanted to increase their revenues, but the players were concerned more about injuries. Since 2000, concussions are up 168%. The NFL has put a lot more focus on identifying and treating players with concussions this season versus previous seasons. As I stated in the slide before, concussions are up 168% in the last 10 years. So now you can see the devastating impacts of illegal hits and unnecessary roughness in football today.
So in conclusion, football is just a game. It's a way to make a living, get an education, entertain, or simply a way just to have fun in the backyard. In the end, though, football is still just a game. A football game would never be worth a lifetime of regret.